Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the control tip and the status bar text properties to show help with a control in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Morgan in Dover, New Hampshire, one of my Platinum members. Morgan says, is there any way that I can give my users a little more information about what certain buttons do before they click on them? I have a lot of buttons on one of my forms, so I have to make them small. The boss likes icons, not captions. Most of them are self-explanatory like save and print, but the button to mark an order shipped doesn't really lend itself well to an icon. What do you recommend? Well, Morgan, the first thing I would do is tell the boss to get over the icons. <laughs> I like to use text captions myself on buttons, especially ones that, you know, uh, an icon doesn't really suit it or do it justice. Like everyone knows the floppy disk icon is save and the printer button is print. But like you said, shipping in order, well, what, what kind of button is that? So in order to explain what buttons are, there's this nifty property called the control tip text let me show you how to use it okay here i am in my tech help free template this is a free download off my website if you want to grab yourself a copy go right ahead it's absolutely free you'll find the link down below in the link section now my buttons have nice descriptive captions on them but let's say for example you got pictures on here and you don't have a text caption so we'll get rid of that now for those of you who don't know you can put a picture on here just go to the format tab and down here it says picture. It's got none. Click on the little dot, dot, dot button right there and you can pick from Access's built-in little pictures. Or you can browse and use one of your own if you got to make your own little, you know, your own little clip art for it. But let's say, for example, the customer list is, uh, I don't know, let's do this thing. Okay, there's my customer list. Now, just looking at it, I might not know what that is, right? All right, how about customer form? Let's take this guy. Put a picture on it. Let's see if we got something that looks like a person. Um, or how about the happy face? I don't use pictures myself that often, to be honest with you. I don't even know what they got in there. All right. But I, I got no clue what these things are. Okay, just, just to look at them. So that's where control tip text comes in. Click on this guy. This is the customer list. Find the control tip text. It's on the other tab right down here. And if, you, if you're having a hard time figuring out where a property is, and you don't know which tab it's on, go to all and hit this button right there, the A to Z, that'll sort the properties alphabetically. So now you got all the properties, you know you're looking for control tip text, so it's up top, and it's right there, okay? Now the control tip text can be up to 255 characters of whatever you wanna say when the, the user hovers their mouse over that button. So this is the customer list form, and this one is the customer most, let's call it the single customer form. Well, no, let's call it customer, just customer form. <laughs> I don't want to go customer single form. Is it a list of single customers as opposed to married ones? All right. So save that. Let's close it and open it back up again. All right. Now, when I hover over that, for, it takes a second, but there you see it pops up. Customer form. See? And there's customer list form. Okay. And you can use that on any buttons you want anywhere in your database. You can also use it on text boxes, right? Control tip text is there or other things like labels, okay? Usually you, you use it for buttons, thing the user's gonna, things the user is going to, things the user is going to click on. <laughs> I can't talk today. I haven't had enough coffee yet. Now there's another cool property you can use. Let's go to the customer form. There's another cool property you can use to give help text down here in the status bar. That's called the status bar text. And that's that's handy for like, uh, uh, text boxes and other controls that you're going to tab to and you want to know what goes in there. So just go to design view again, go to first name. And again, on the other tab, you'll find status bar text, right? Enter the user's first name. And you do this for each one of these fields, right? Enter the user's last name. And yeah, if, if you want to build your database for people that don't really know what they're doing, right? Enter the user's or the customer's email address. And again, these are pretty straightforward, but, you know, what if you got something like, you know, customer sense, what does that mean? Okay. Or is active. What does is active mean? That kind of stuff. And then when the user goes to that form and is tabbing through down here in the status bar, you can see there's helpful information. You can also put a control tip text in there too, if you want to. 
right? So if you come in here, control tip text, just put the same thing if you want. And then if they hover over it, they'll get that control tip text, see? There it is, it pops up. I think those are annoying over text boxes though. But you can see down here in the status bar as I tab between these, it explains what those are. You can also do something like a little, um, like a little, you know, question mark over here. Like you could take a label like this, right? Copy, paste, just put like a question mark in here. Or you can use a little picture if you want to. I usually just use a label, right? Put a question mark. And usually you'll do this for things that are, you know, not self-explanatory. Maybe, uh, maybe bold it and you can make it blue. Let's do, uh, let's do, let's do white with a blue background and I'll center it like that. Yeah, a little circle will look, will look better, but you get the point, right? So double click on this guy, go to control tip text and put in here, you know, customer's first name or whatever. You're, you're, you're explaining a difficult to understand field. Okay. So if they don't understand what that is now, they just hover over it and there's the customer's first name pops up. So that is a control tip text and the status bar text. Okay. Pretty straightforward. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to, I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.